At this time, I will call to order the July 10th, 2023 meeting of the Storter Economic Development Authority. Trustees, questions, comments, or motion on the consent docket? Move to approve consent. Second. Motion is second on consent. Please vote. Oops. That's approved with a vote of four to zero. Item five, general orders 5A, and all of these are going to be pretty related, and Mr. Moore is going to give us introduction to all of them. But we'll start with 5A, consider application of Eskimo Joe's Inc. for a small business enhancement assistance in the amount of $15,000 for improvements to include new fencing for property appearance at 501 West Elm and 419 West Elm. Mr. Moore. Yes, thank you, Mayor. Um, in just a moment, I'll ask Robert Williams to come to the podium. He can tell you more about the project and you can ask him questions. Um, just as a reminder, um, since we have six of these items on the agenda tonight, and it's been a, a few minutes since we uh, brought one of these to you all. So a small business enhancement is lined out in our implementation policy guide for our downtown uh, TIF 3 district. Um, these are those 15, up to $15,000 um, uh, max uh, with a 50% match. So a $30,000 project could have a, a up to $15,000. Um, the, it specifically calls out that within the increment district, um, these are two on projects that enhance the exterior of the structure um, uh, to the ex uh, existing business that is located there. Um, otherwise, to improve the appearance or the exterior of the business. So it's very tied to these exterior enhancements. Um, the first item up tonight is for Eskimo Joe's. Um, the project address is at 501 West Elm and 419 West Elm. Um, this project has a total cost of $35,252.80. Um, so again, the total amount being requested is that $15,000 max. Um, the first three items, just to give a little context too, to the first three items are uh, owned by Clark Realty Corp. In the TIF meeting um, that was held uh, previously, um, it was asked of Robert Williams um, that if there was an individual lease for each of these properties, um, and that is correct. So each property that you're seeing tonight, um, these first three items are uh, leased um, separately by the separate entities of Stan Clark. Um, so the first one is Eskimo Joe's. Um, this is for new fencing um, for the property appearance at 501 West Elm and 419 West Elm. And so with that, I'll let Robert Williams come and answer questions. are requesting these for uh, property appearances at all of our area lots. We do feel like Elm Street is an uh, entrance to OSU and has a very high impact traffic area to OSU and to there's a lot of visitors that obviously come into town. Uh, we're very blessed and grateful for all of that. We also have the new convention center that's going to be located next door to us that again will bring in uh, additional visitors. And so we're just trying to um, well, keep up with those guys in a way because that's going to be a pretty nice property as well. Um, and our area is a little bit run down. Any questions? No, Trustees, any questions? We certainly appreciate the um, effort to, mm -hmm. to maintain that uh, entrance to, to the community at, uh, along Elm Street. So we appreciate the fact that you guys are doing these projects. All right, counselors, uh, the first item is somewhere, is to consider the application for the property at 501 West Elm and 419 West Elm, CDIS 23-11. Questions, comments, or action on the item? Motion to approve CDA 23-11. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve the application. Please vote approved with a vote of four to zero. Item B is the application for $15,000 grant on 516 West Elm and 512 West Elm. Is there, are there questions or action on this item? Motion to approve C-23-12. Second. Motion and second to approve the application. Please vote. That one's also approved four to zero. And item C is to consider an application for a small business enhancement grant in the amount of $8,212 $8, for 
Uh, new fencing at 416 West Elm, seat at 23-13. Action on this item. Motion to approve seat at 23-13. Second. Motion and a second. Please vote. Vote of 4-0. That is also approved. All right. Item D is to consider the application of Pro Value Net for Small Business Enhancement Assistance in the amount of $3,750, $3,750 for improvements to include new windows, doors, decals, trims, repair outdoor digital screen, new paint, and flower beds at 801 South Main. Mr. Moore. Yes. Uh, so we have Katie Bean here tonight that's going to come to the podium and tell you some more about the project. Um, this is for Pro Value Net there at 8th and Main. Um, as you just read, this is for uh, a variety of exterior improvements at her business. Hello. Um, yeah, basically, we have a very prominent corner in downtown. Um, so we just want to make sure we can do some major improvements there as far as all the outside facade to really keep contributing to the downtown area. Excellent. And again, thank you guys for, for your willingness to maintain the, the look and feel of our community by doing these kinds of projects. We appreciate it. Trustees, any questions? Is there an action on the application? Keeping with the momentum, motion to approve <laughs> CETA 23-14. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve the application. Please vote. It's approved 4-0. Thank, thank you. you. Item E, consider the application of Finnegan's Pub for small business enhancement assistance in the amount of $5,000 for improvements to include a new 8 by 40 fence sidewalk cafe and two lighted signs at 704 South Main. Mr. Moore. Yes, this is exciting for uh, uh, one of our downtown businesses to be reopening. Uh, they're at another prominent corner of our downtown at 7th and Main. Um, Chris Ward is here tonight with Finnegan's Pub. Um, he's going to talk about, he's got um, in this application for the exterior improvements, um, he's got two custom signs, uh, bar pub signs that are, are going to give a really nice look um, to downtown as well as an outdoor seating area in that um, kind of wide sidewalk that he has in front of his business. So uh, the total project yeah, is $10,000, or $29.26, and he's asked for $5,000 on this request. So go ahead, Chris. Thank you. Um, so Finnegan's Pub was open previously in downtown Stillwater for almost 11 years. And so we're excited to be reopening at a new location that uh, we actually own this time. And uh, part of that is that prominent corner. We really like that. Uh, we're excited to work with the bicycling community. And so part of the fencing project that we're going to do will also double as a place for people to tie up their bikes to uh, at those events. And uh, then as far as the signage goes, our outdoor area was very, very successful in the previous iteration. So we're looking forward to enhancing that and having a really good look with it. Uh, awesome. I've seen some uh, progress pictures on the signage and we're really, really excited about them. That's awesome. We're excited about you guys being back downtown. That's a place that a lot of people have missed for, for the yeah. last couple of years. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're excited to see you making that progress. Trustees, motion the, on the item. What's the time frame for getting open? Uh, so health department comes and looks at us on Thursday. She has conditionally approved us uh, as long as she doesn't find anything else that I need to do. Uh, the outdoor seating area, the fencing, I could build that in one day if I um, get the approval. Uh, the, um, other than that, it's state liquor license and that moves at the speed of government. So <laughs> it's however long the state takes. But uh, I was told by ABLE Commission when I talked to him before six to eight weeks, I think it's gonna move faster than that now though because the entire process is electronic. Uh, I don't have to hand deliver everything down to them. I can start turning things in now. And uh, so that's my intention. Okay. So hopefully and, very soon. And just to verify, and I know I saw this in the documents, but just to make this um, public comment, the um, outdoor seating, everything around that will we will remain ADA accessible the Absolutely. sidewalk. Okay. Yes. All right. Trustees, is there action on the item? Carrying on. <laughs> <laughs> Move to approve. Is it approve or accept? Approve. For approve. See to 23-15. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve the application. Please vote. It's approved 4-0. Thank you. Thanks, Chris. And item F is to consider the application of CNG Hospitality LLC doing business as Coney Island Stowater for small business enhancement assistance in the amount of $15,000 for improvements to include an entertainment venue with covered stage, 
full service bar and covered seating at 301 South Washington Street. Mr. Moore. Yes, this is for uh, Coney Island, um, one of our classic staples on the on the strip there on Washington Street. Um, the, Jake uh, Humphreys is here tonight to talk about the project. Um, the total project cost on this one is $57,600. And uh, again, looking to add a, a nice exterior improvement that is gonna help increase um, some business and some entertainment uh, down on the strip. So go ahead, Jake. Yeah, so what we wanna do is create an outdoor music venue there on the strip that is focused on being a family friendly environment. Um, since Coney's been around for as long as it has been, specifically on game days and when the weather starts getting warmer in the spring, to allow us to have an outdoor music venue that has covered seating um, that is open to all ages we specifically want to really push this towards the community um, allowing them to have more of an opportunity to take over the strip i know it's mostly focused on the students so we want to give them an opportunity to kind of take a piece of that back that's open to family kids and the whole environment all right trustees questions where is this going to be uh, the parking lot between Coney and Fuzzies. Okay. This is better than having the parking there? Yeah, the, yeah, I was here for the parking meeting a couple months ago, and um, the parking just never really developed the way we wanted it to. And so we see it more of a revenue base and something that we can really help the customers out and give them more of an opportunity than just what's already there. No. Okay. Trustees, action on the item. Carrying on. Move to approve CETA 23-16. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve the application. Please vote. Approved with a vote of? Nope. Four to zero. Thank you. Thank you. Looking forward to all these improvements. These are all really exciting projects. We, we really do appreciate our, our business owners in town who are taking advantage of these, these programs. This is a... Um, a really, I think, valuable program of, of uh, as part of our, our um, economic development to make sure these kinds of projects can happen. So I'm excited about all that. Any reports from the officers and board? Is there a motion to adjourn the CETA? So moved. Second. We'll have a motion and a second to adjourn the CETA meeting. Please vote. With a vote of four to zero, we're now adjourned, and that concludes our meetings for the evening.